Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how you can do uh, unit testing in C Sharp using a very popular framework called Mock. So this is where it is and you can uh, get it. So what I've already done is I have installed Mock and I'm using that Mock and also I'm going to use and demonstrate how to set up uh, protected uh, methods and mocks on them so I'm going to be using that as well so let's get started to just to give you an information uh, I have already set up a, uh, an interface called iInfo and uh, it is you can see it has um, a few properties such as name healthy and legs name is obviously uh, simple legs could be some number and healthy indicates a number between 0 and 10 whether that uh, information is uh, about some animal is healthy uh, and I also have a class called animal and which is what we are going to test and it takes a constructor and it takes a uh, through injection or through dependency uh, I information and if information is null it throws an argument exception otherwise it stores the info and it can it, it has some public properties that it can return uh, as to what uh, the information was stored. So that's pretty much uh, what it is. So if you look at uh, how we could do this, uh, since we can see that the animal class takes in an iInfo object, uh, we can set up a mock on this because uh, let's say the class is not defined uh, till yet and we only have an interface, so we can do this. So to set up a mock is very easy. You can say mock and this is, you have the mock. And to access uh, the object inside the mock, uh, what you uh, normally would do is uh, you can say mock info and then you access the property called object uh, which I'm already doing to access uh, the object. So this will supply an I information object to this animal and this is our system under test and here I want to check if I call get the property legs first time it returns 4 the second time it returns 2 and the name is uh, uh, this and in the last I'm just printing the information for the health. So let's say, and we also want to make sure that when we run uh, this action and or all these uh, asserts, uh, we should not throw any exception. So that's how uh, it is. So now the, uh, the question is, how can I set up this mock so we get this? And the reason I did all this in advance so to save some typing time. So let's uh, uh, try to set up uh, the mock. And uh, the way I'm going to set up the mock is uh, I'm going to uh, say that we can do a setup of all properties. This is not completely necessary, but I'm doing it so that in case some properties are set up, uh, they get changed and we can see those changed information. So that's the first thing I want to do. Second thing I want to do is uh, I want to uh, set up the get. So there is a setup method available on the get and this I'm going to use for the property such as name. So when the name property is accessed, we want to return something very specific and what I'm going to return is this so that we can uh, pass our test. So I'm going to return the name Moti, so that's good. So the other thing I wanted to do as you can see here is that when the legs is called I want to return a 4 and 2. So I could just do a setup on legs but then I can only return one value. So instead of one value I want to be return different values when it is called in sequence. So there is actually a setup uh, method that we can use called setup sequence and I am going to do that. And here I just say when we access the legs first time it is going to return uh, 4 and then the second time oh sorry and the second time it is going to return a 2 string and this can be uh, valuable if you are going to set up some sequence like that so I think uh, we only needed to set two things uh, for this method to pass and the health is actually just set up, uh, let me see how the health is set up here. Uh, health is not on, available on this thing, it is only available on the animal. And uh, health, if we access the property, it will access whatever is in healthy. So let's not uh, worry about the healthy, accessing the healthy property for now and I'm going to clean this. And we want to just now run this test and see uh, how this mocking worked for us. 
and we should just take a second to run this test and let's see what happened here. So as you can see the test passed and this all worked out great for us. So uh, just to recap, uh, you can set up a mock on an interface and you can uh, set up uh, gets and set up sequences and uh, you can then uh, when you do the actual check you access the mock info dot object and that works great. So let me demonstrate one more thing here instead of let's say you wanted to do a mock on a class instead of in uh, the interface you can also do that so I've created a class which in a, which basically implements that interface i info. So the only big difference here is that I have a public property healthy and I'm calling a, a protected method to just get a random number between uh, uh, some value. And uh, so now what I want to do is since this is a protected method and it's giving me random values, instead of doing that in my mock, I want to have it return just a specific value. So I'm going to be interested in setting up a mock for this uh, protected method. And when you want to do it for a protected method, you have to make it virtual. So that's all I'm going to do here. So let's go and see if we can, uh, we get this mock and we can have this thing pass. So if you can see some of these properties are actually like uh, legs and name are public properties. So I can uh, directly access the object here itself. So I can just say object uh, dot, uh, let's say health, not healthy. I want, I want to do it on healthy here, object dot legs. And here I can just set uh, the value of four, for example. And I can also do the same thing for the name. And name, I can make it uh, as Moti again, so it will pass. So he, uh, here you can see that it is, uh, I've already set up these two to pass because I can directly access the properties public properties but when I uh, so now I want to do uh, when I get the value health I want to get a value that I return instead of a random number so what I'm going to do is mock info and uh, since it's going to be a protected uh, value I'm going to do protected and then I'm going to say setup and since it returns an int you set it up like this and then the name of the function or the method that's being called. So we are calling healthy rand. So I'm going to uh, plug that in here, healthy rand. And if you have any parameters, you can pass parameters after this, but since this function doesn't take any parameters, I don't need to give it any parameters. And then I can just say what it returns. And obviously to pass the test I return, I need to return a value of five instead of a random number. So this is uh, basically uh, setting up a mock on a class and you have some protected methods and you can also mock them. So that's what I'm uh, demonstrating here. So that's all I should really need. And let me uh, run this test again. And it should uh, basically pass. So, so as you can see this test also pass. And let me just uh, try to run the whole uh, gamut here and see what it does. So you can see everything passed and also to recap, you can set up mocks on interfaces, then you can also set up mocks on concrete classes and you have protected methods, you can set up mocks on that as well. The only thing uh, when you're doing that is to set up, uh, make them virtual. And the other thing uh, we learned here is that if you want to do a setup, you can do a setup sequence as well. And there are other things that, that you can experiment with. Uh, I haven't really uh, gone into those, but I would encourage you to go to the mock uh, quick start and take a look at some of the other things you can work with. I'm going to add this uh, video under C sharp unit testing with mock. Thank you very much and you have a great day.